I am Kepwin, welcome back to Besiege. If you missed the last episode of Besiege, why aren't you watching all my things? Shame on you. Also, Besiege is an amazing medieval themed building game about blowing stuff up. You build things, and then they explode, and possibly explode other things, if you built them right. So we've done this map before in the last episode, but I wanted to mess around today. I'm not going to do progression. I might, I'll probably progress through the levels at some point. But today I wanted to experiment with building a thing because I did experiment a little bit the other day. So I'm going to load up this machine that I built, the Ballista. I wanted to see if I could build a Ballista, which is basically a giant crossbow. And I found this interesting because this is something the game doesn't seem specifically made to build. Uh, it doesn't have the right parts built in for it. You can build catapults and spinny blade things and all kinds of stuff, but this this took some engineering and ingenuity and that's why I like it. And this is my working test model, as you can see. It doesn't work super well, but it functions well enough to fire. Boom. But it lacks a bunch of functionality that I would like. Also it does that, which which is just endlessly amusing. You can keep hitting the button and this thing bounces around. Wah Anyway, working test model. But, let's build it bigger, faster, stronger. I'm gonna start singing a song in a minute. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna build a new one. So to build a ballista, the first thing that you're gonna have to remember is that it's all about pieces falling into place on one another. I want a long track for this to accelerate on. I'm gonna make it as long as this thing can be. All right, long track to accelerate upon. It's all about pieces falling onto one another. And I discovered that if you use these armor plates, it lets pieces slide along pretty uninhibited. So these armor plates are really nice. And then you have to build up some supports for the pieces that are going to fall into place. See, so this is gonna be our little pusher and you can't put it right there because that intersects with this armor plate, but it also would connect to this log if we didn't have the armor plate there. So we have to put it one up and then remove its support so that when we start this thing, if I move this to ground and show you, when we start this thing, this will fall and rest right there. And that is now a freestanding object that's not connected to anything, so we're able to use it. Now the other really nice thing about armor is that it doesn't take up as much space as some of the other blocks. So I can put an armor piece underneath here, and an armor piece up here. And now, as you can see, we get a nice, uh, smooth surface on each side. Now let's build our bolt. I'm not sure how big I want to build our bolt, but we'll just make a uh, nice little bolt. I'll start it here, and then we'll bring it along. Uh, that actually might be enough. Now let's give it one more just for some clout. Now let's make it light. Make it light and then to make it more weapon shaped we'll put a spike on it. See there's our bolt and we remove this piece and now we have a freestanding pusher bit that I'll think of better names for and a freestanding bolt. Alright now we'll cover the bottom of our bolt in armor to let it slide along. We'll also cover the top in armor so that it can not hit things. And there we go, that's the basis of our ballista. Now, I want to build the cross section. So you need a place for your... Um, all right, this has to be a little further out. Don't worry, this thing actually doesn't move from side to side very much. If you put pieces here, it has a tendency to get caught, and you don't want that. So we'll put pieces here, and this is what our um, springs are going to connect to. This is what's going to pull the thing along. And we want this to be as solid as possible. And this one I want a little more surface area, so that we can get a lot of spring motion on this. And we'll see what breaks stuff. All right, this is going to be an iterative process so that we can go through all this and figure out the engineering problems that we have to fix as we go through and build this thing. I think that'll be fun. Don't you think that'll be fun? 
because I think that'll be fun. So as it stands now, this thing falls, and we got a big problem here straight off. <laughs> Looks a little more like a gradual ramp than anything else, so we're gonna need to brace that. At uh, all in all, it seems to be working okay. So let's actually put a couple of our springs on here. Now I'm going to put the springs on this level. Everything is up at this level, but if we put them up here, it's going to pull up. I want it to pull straight and maybe a little down, just to keep everything functioning fine. So this looks like it's at a bad angle, but actually, when everything falls down, the string should be pretty much straight. I want to put a bunch on here. We're going to have one for every one of these connecting pieces. Like that, and I'm willing to bet that this is going to break when we do our test in a second here. All right, ready to test? Down and fire! Ho! Oh, that was awesome. Let's see that in slow motion. I mean, we we want to fix it. The ideal here is to be able to aim this thing and possibly have it at least look like we could reload it. All right, go. So, we broke the arrow, we broke the thing, and uh, it just goes flying off randomly. I think the fact that the, that the windmill was destroyed last time was entirely coincidental. We can also retract those again. Woo! Alright, so this uh, bolt compression is a problem that I faced last time, and I, I put a piece of armor on the back so that it takes less direct impact, and I also braced the bolt itself to give it a little more stability along this side because the compression really kills this thing. There, so now the bolt should be good. This one we're going to need actually a lot more support up the top. There we go, and then these. These parts are um, um, intersectless. Is that a good word? I don't know. They don't exist is the point I'm trying to make. Things can pass through them. So we can just use them like this and they're not going to get in the way of anything. And then one in the middle and one there. No, that one needs to be one further on. And one further on like that. There we go. And then like this. And that should keep it from sagging as much. Let's see. Oh, go back to normal speed. Yeah, so now it's not sagging. And if we fire it, boom! It still shatters itself apart, but I think the bolt actually hit something that time. Yeah, the bolt's over there. Most of the machine <laughs> stayed over here. So we're improving. We're improving. We really have a problem with uh, the stability of this thing, though. Which is going to be a little bit of a problem, because we made it so long. I'd really like to be able to put a small piece in front that we could uh, connect stuff to, but that's not going to happen. But we can put braces along here. So bracing, bracing, and we'll add some bracing going up this way, and some going across, and uh, hopefully that'll keep the whole freaking thing from destroying itself too much. We'll also brace back into the middle, because right now the compression here is tearing the thing in half, basically. I want to get this working, and then hopefully add some wheels and maybe something that we can control the elevation with a little bit, and be able to aim the bloody thing. All right, fire! So most of it held together that time. It's, I think that it may have hit the uh, crossbeam. Yeah, I think that's working pretty well. Uh, we might want to take out this crossbeam, though. Just have a cross strut that is harder to destroy. Okay, we'll work on that. We'll work on that, but for right now, it seems to be working pretty well. We'll cross strut this. Cross strut the crap out of that. Space tape. Well, medieval. Medieval space tape. Alright, next step. Wheels. 
which should be relatively easy, one would hope. So I want to try to maintain part of this angle. I want to be able to steer the thing. So let's put in a steering block. Now these things are difficult to use at best. No, that's a spinning block. I want a steering block. There we go. I think if you connect them to the ends of these things, they uh, are less likely to snap off. Yeah, that seems to be working. And then if we fire, it's aimed right at the windmill. All right, test fire. Number something. I don't know, maybe I'll count in editing if I feel like counting. But these should spin when I use the um, arrow keys. Yeah, they're, they're trying to move. But we'll put wheels on that and then that will let us move the thing. But in the meantime, fire! Whoa, that did not work out. Stop that. Okay, this fell off the back. That's a problem. I don't want it to fall off the back. Hmm. There we go. Whoop. No, 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 no. Stop that. Oh well, we'll continue on and see where we get to. If we have a problem with it falling off the back, then we will have to deal with that. So we'll bring this out a little bit. And um, probably down one for the wheels so that we can maintain a little better of an angle. Good. And I would like to actually replace these with something. Because ideally I would like to be able to... Um, so ideally I would like... We'll see if these will actually connect to each other because it doesn't look like it. But ideally I'd like to be able to raise this thing up if I can. So steering, steering raise this whole thing up a bit. Intersection with what? Oh. That's not supposed to be there, so. Fine. I don't want it to intersect. Now, wheels. Um, actually, we need the wheels to be out very slightly, otherwise they're going to impact on something. Wheel, 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 out very slightly, then... Alright, wheels that spin um, forward, maybe? Are they all going the same direction? Yes, they appear to be. And then we'll... Ooh, I can't put them on the back there, so we have to move them forward just a little bit. No, that should be fine, because that will just make our angle a little less extreme. Alright, out, and then down, and down, and wheels. Alright, put it on the ground. And we play. And you can go back to more normal speeds. Alright, our thing did not fall this time. We can steer the machine. Can aim the machine. The machine is not liking being aimed. We might need to address that. Let's aim it at the windmill. The thing fell off, but we can elevate it. Whoom! Alright, that is a definite problem. A definite, definite problem. We're gonna have to move where our entire firing mechanism is. And our bolt. And that's okay. That's okay, because we're getting the thing working. We're just we're just getting the thing working a little bit at a time. So, we need the bolt to be there, and we need a couple of armor bits in the back to hold it in place, and I think this might create an intersection? Oh, no it doesn't, good. So no intersection there, let's just cover this thing in armor bits. Excellent, so there's our pushing bob. Now we need to take take that off the front so we can put the crossbow bolt back. And one, two. Get rid of that with some armor. And put up. Come on. Bop. There we go. Armor. 
Then armor, 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 armor. Armor, armor, armor. Armor to create a smooth surface. Excellent. Then the spike. Alrighty then. Now it can't fall off the back, but it might still move from side to side. Let's see if we can... Actually, is that, that's an idea. Can we place the armor on the side here? No, what is it intersecting? Is it the strut? Yeah, they're intersecting the struts. Well, let's get rid of the struts for now. And see where that'll leave us. Because I think these armor bits may be the best chance we have at holding these. giving it a little bit of a lip to hold in place there. But that means we're gonna have to fix our sagging problem another way. We'll have to see if the armor even works that way. It's possible it'll catch on the side and just uh, destroy the whole thing. All right, now we need to put our springs back. Need a huge number of springs. Oh yeah, lots of springs. This needs a symmetry mode. All right, games like this just need a symmetry mode. That's that's all there is to it, and we need to start putting them in more. I know it's difficult, devs, but it's just just something we need. It's it's really really necessary. All right, that's more or less ready. Let's see how badly it sags. It sags to the point of breaking, in fact. But the armor, the armor thingy works pretty well. That works well. So let's, um, hmm, let's put a little bit in the center here so that we can connect some stuff to. And uh, we'll brace it on the bottom a bit. That's really our only option at this point. So let's see if we can brace the bottom and keep it from sagging as much. If that doesn't work, then we're going to have to remove some key pieces of armor. Alright, are we sagging still? No, much more solid. Okay, firing creates a problem. Let's see what went wrong there. Welcome to Troubleshooting, the amazingly awesome show about make things sort of almost work, but not quite. All right, if we fire. Okay, it's working. It's just uh, lacking a little bit of support that we used to have there. So we'll just put some struts uh, connecting to this thing in the back. Keep it from all folding in on itself. And that should fix most of our problems. All right, fall down nicely. You're in your little groove. Good. And let's actually try aiming the thing. Uh, fire. Let's test fire. All right, we're still breaking ourselves apart. It's not ideal. I won't lie to you. That's not not exactly what I was going for. But it's really just a problem of not having enough bracing. The bracing is the big concern here. And yeah, this needs to connect all the way in back. Just need to make sure these can hold themselves well enough. And I don't know, let me know in the comments how much bracing is cheating. Is I feel like at a certain point, struts are just cheating. Alright, falls okay. Still breaking itself. But let's let's test the other functionality. Alright, we want to be able to aim this thing without having the um without having the bolt fall off. Seems to be working alright. We will uh 
this reverse a bit, get a little bit more range on this thing. Then use the elevator. Fire! All right, still works okay. Oh, I forgot to put the um, I forgot to put the support strut on the bolt. No wonder the thing is breaking. This bolt is under a huge amount of tension. You never really think about having your ammo be structurally secure, but it's really necessary. Now, fire! Alright, we still got a problem here. We need some cross, cross bracing on the bottom. Bottom to bottom. Alright, sounds like a bad... Uh, ooh, reminded me of... Uh, of Wrecking for a Dream, actually. That's uh, not a great thought. Okay. And another little bit of bracing here. Why not? In the middle. Right in the middle to the end here. Alright, this thing is now braced. Consider yourself braced. Let's elevate. Whoop. Fire! Ah! Perfect. Almost perfect. Little bit of breakage. Just a little bit. Whoop, whoop. Womp, womp. All right, a little more cross bracing. I know, I know it doesn't matter if it breaks, but it's a matter of principle. All right, you don't, you don't want your stuff breaking. It's just, just not what you want to happen. All that armor on the side could possibly help something too. It's connected way more in the middle. Uh, I think it's cheating. I, I still feel like it's cheating now, but... Whoomp! Oh! Hmm. I guess maybe we should let it settle a bit more. Settle. Settle. Fire! Oh, yeah. Except the spike fell off. <laughs> okay, we now have it functioning. Let's, let's move it back, move it back, move it back. Then we turn. Get it lined up. Lined up. Alright. Elevator up. Whop. Get some more range. That's, I don't know, 5%-ish. And... Fire! Ah. Oh. oh, is it still gonna hit anything? Oh, sailed right by, too. Sailed right by, but a machine is uh our machine is still functioning we can put the we can put the firing mechanism back and uh, be ready for another shot Whoom, that then breaks the thing all right one more try let's see if it still catches so I don't want it to catch let's see what's making it catch and if we can figure that out then we will Ooh, sometimes it catches, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. That flew straight as an arrow, like it should, but it also broke the machine. I don't know, the physics is, is sort of inconsistent, but that doesn't really bother me, because physics is pretty inconsistent. If you actually look at, at how things function in the real world, I know engineers, I know engineers are going to be mad at me, I understand, but... But physics is not as simple and consistent as you want it to be, okay? Just just uh, realize that. Why is this, what is this hitting? What are you intersecting? Come on. Yep, what, I, I understand you think you're intersecting something, but what is it? It must be these struts. Yeah, maybe we can put those back on later. <laughs> Let's see if that works better, because I think having the runner a little more forward might work. Alright, more struts. Let's put those struts back. I don't care if you say they're intersecting. They ain't. And ain't is Old English, by the way. I can use ain't in this context. This ain't is a Old English word. It is a uh, derivation of the conjunction of it is not. And firing. Ah, perfect, except for the bolt breaking, but still, part of it, part of it went. Part of the bolt went forward, and that's really, really what we care about. 
I think this thing's working pretty well. We can steer it, we can elevate it, we can aim it. All in all, really awesome. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna kinda call it the Ballista Mark II. Did, did it save? Ballista Mark II. Save. There we go. And now we should be able to load it in. Yeah, Ballista Mark II. And now here's something that I was just playing with, because this is just... And it, once you have your working ballista, things just get funny. So let's put a giant frickin' sword blade on the front. Alright. Uh, let's elevate it a little bit. Whoop. And fire! Ah oh, yeah, giant sword blade. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, dude, come back here. Come back here. Oh, son of a... Okay. Wee. <laughs> Woo! I don't think the game physics like having that many springs. There they go! <laughs> Alright, here's my favorite. One more. One more. This one's, this one's my absolute favorite. The flamethrower bolt! Completely unnecessary. And since I didn't change the keys, involving way too many buttons. Right, fire. Engage flamethrower. See? Fire. Whoom. Now everything should be on fire. Yeah. Fire. Anyway, that is building a better ballista. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I hope that you've enjoyed. I might improve it a little later to make it not break quite so consistently. But, uh, all in all, I think this thing is amazing fun. Let's put the, um, let's put the giant blade back on. I think that one's my favorite. That, come on. There we go. Yeah, that one's, that one's my favorite. Yes, please let me know if you prefer building random things video format. Um, going through the challenges video format, I'm probably going to do both because this game is just just amazing. But if you want me to show more random building things, do let me know by leaving a like or a comment. If you want to see more of this game and the other things that I cover, you can subscribe. <laughs> As always, my name is Gepwin, and I will see you soon. <laughs>